14 years in the making, a $500 million budget, the debut of never-before-seen film technology, James Cameron presents Avatar. <laughs> Avatar, open Friday. Uh, now here's somebody who, uh, get ready. Uh, she is a, a three-time Academy Award-denominated actress currently starring in the number one film in the world. Now, this is, this is no little Walt Disney monkey dance movie. <laughs> this, is no, this is no cartoon, ladies and gentlemen. This thing has done around the world a billion dollars wow. in ticket sales. This, this is the real deal. And here's one of the stars, the lovely, the talented Sigourney Weaver. Very nice. Wow. How are you? I'm excellent. How are you? Happy New Year. Same to you. Happy New Year to you. Gosh, you look wonderful. And, and I know you haven't been on this show for quite a long time, but I, I think I've seen you somewhere because you look familiar and it's good to see you again. Yeah. Have, have we seen each other somewhere recently? Hmm, let me think. Probably not. Around New York in the freezing cold? Bumble yeah, up, something perhaps? like that. Yeah, like in an event, but I don't go to events. Do you go to either. events? I don't know. Well, we didn't see each other at Maybe the same the event. Dream, you know. Yeah. Oh, oh well. Oh. Uh, here we go. Uh, uh, congratulations on on this this film. I mean, it's it's insane, isn't it? Really, that the thing has been so successful. I'm glad I'm promoting it because we've only made a billion dollars. Yeah, now. that's right. Yeah, we'll, we'll try to now sell some to tickets for you here. Billion. Here tonight. <laughs> now, now, is it one of those deals where you're uh, they put electrodes all over you? Or did you have electrodes? Well, on that's you? that's a shock treatment that happens after the after film. the film. <laughs> no, uh, actually, you're you're in a little cat suit, not unlike what I'm wearing, mm -hmm. but um, maybe covered. <laughs> With ears and a tail, and you, you kind of play the scenes uh, very naturally, I think, the way you would in, in the theater without any sets or mm -hmm. anything. And then these brilliant guys at Weta Digital in New Zealand spend, I think it's uh, 47 hours for each 24th of a second building oh. on what the actors do. Oh, my God, is that right? Yes, for, because it's 47 hours for each frame, and each frame is a 24th of a second. So. In fact, what the actors do is absolutely the base, but then they, they then put your avatar or your Navi person, you know, in layers on top. Right. And, and uh, avatar, as we've come to understand the uh, vernacular, is uh, like, like another human. It's a, different, it's a yeah. different version of you or me or something, but you coexist. It's another, it's another body to travel in another world mm -hmm. with. Yeah. And, and when, you're, when you're making the movie, do you have a complete script? Do you, do you have an idea of what you're involved in? Oh, or? gosh, yes. That yeah. would be scary. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I guess it, we... I guess it would. <laughs> Bad enough with the ears and the tail not to know what scene you're yeah, in. If you don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> um, you wouldn't know if you were blue or what, yeah. you know? Hey, what, take a look. This is what we'd be blue. Look at this. Hey, how you doing? There you go. Oh, my God. <laughs> how do you do that? Well, <laughs> it's a good excellent, question. Excellent, excellent. We had a... But we're too short, you know. We, had, we got a guy in New Zealand. It took him 24 right. hours. <laughs> and that's what he came up with. My acting teachers always told me that height would be an issue for me, but I didn't realize they meant I was too short. It's only now that I'm 6'10 and blue that I'm really having this <laughs> major worldwide success. R really, she thought that maybe you were a little uh, too, too tall to be a, a film actress, a stage actress? Um, I, I think any kind of actor, yeah. any kind of actor. I was just too tall, period. That was the beginning of their problem. I, I would think, especially in stage work, it, it would be useful. You could immediately take the stage when you well, come Well, that out. does sound like it would be a good idea, mm -hmm. um, but I'm not sure I knew how to do that then. Mm. I probably just shuffled in, you know. Uh, <laughs> like how, how is your, uh, you have a, a, a college age daughter? Is I right? do. Yeah, I how do. is she doing? I think she's great. She's, uh, we had a wonderful Christmas here in New York and, uh, and a lovely New Year's and it's been great to see her and, uh, you know, we did a, a kind of world tour for Avatar. We went to oh, that's Paris cool. and Berlin oh, and Moscow God. and all these places and then it was great to come back to New York. Yeah, yeah, but what a wonderful thing yeah. for the family. Is she, uh, is, is your daughter interested in acting? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I think it's something that her mother does on right. the side, you know, when she's not being her mother, you right. know. Yeah. So, and uh, and uh, so now you, she's out of the house and you're an empty nester. We are empty nesters. We've kind of been too busy uh, to, to really notice anything but the quiet. Mm -hmm. uh, but my husband runs the Flea Theater in New York, downtown on White Street, if you all want to go. Uh, <laughs> 
you know, go to see a Broadway show, come to the Letterman show, but then go down and see some awesome off-off Broadway. Um, and then, you know, we've just been fortunate enough to be really busy, so we haven't experienced that sort of now what do we do with the rest of our lives feeling? Is it, is it daunting or thrilling, that possibility? It's both. It's drilling. I don't know. It's somehow, <laughs> it's just, it's, it's uh, you know, you, the thing is that you, you're delighted that they're on with their lives, doing what they're supposed to do. You kind of, I miss the little, the little sunbeam that used to follow me around. Yeah. And that person's been gone for a while, she right. said. <laughs> much, much taller, more beautiful sunbeam now. Um, but are you overwhelmed with a, a gr great melancholy, or is it all nicely balanced by the, the thrill of seeing who, what she's turned into, what she's become? Well, I've only cut my therapy back to once a week. Oh, well, you're making, <laughs> you're making pretty good progress. Um, so so uh, far, so good, you know. She's doing her thing, I'm doing mine, that's so great. it's okay. And um, I, I, you had a birthday, and I don't know how much of this I can talk about, but congratulations on a birthday. Oh, thank and you. Well, it's it a birthday you've also uh, yes, managed I, to survive. Well, I wouldn't say survive. I just kind of <laughs> collapsed at the finish line. But uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> You can say it. 60. 60. Congratulations. <laughs> 60. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, a lot of applause for my surviving. Distance. Well, I think I think it's a, it's it's a, I mean it's a lot of people wouldn't own up to that. A lot of people would oh, really? say, Oh no, I don't think a lot you of people would do want to talk about. It. And you look fan, <laughs> you look fantastic. Oh, thank what you. What was the celebration like? Well, we didn't actually celebrate. Um, we were actually um, we also because uh, I got married a week before I turned 35. Um, we were celebrating our 25th wedding anniversary right. the same week. The two things were so stunning that we were sort of paralyzed. We decided not to do anything, but mm -hmm. sort of sit there. <laughs> and then our good friends who are uh, part of the Biava Quartet, which is a string quartet, wanted to come and, and play at our house. So we decided that that would be a good reason for a party. And mm -hmm. we, we mentioned the 25th anniversary. Yeah, now, sh should I know what the Biava Quartet well, is? Well, you should, because they're fantastic. Right. And uh, they're a young, four young musicians, and uh, and they play all over the world, and they live in New York, and they're extraordinary. Is, and it, I, is it strings? It's uh, it's strings, mm -hmm. absolutely. And they were um, they had a new cellist who's only 23, and they played Gershwin for us and Mendelssohn, and it was. Ap I never realized my living room had such good acoustics. Oh, that's good. Really oh, you had them right there in yes, your they place. they came to our house. Oh, well, it was like a, such a uh, cool luxury. Yeah, I, I mean, I've done a little of that, but it's uh, all of a sudden when you hear live music in your own home, yes. it's like, whoa, I know. this is great. Makes you want to take up an instrument, except yeah. you don't make the same noises. <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> In fact, you make noises. No, I make plenty of noises. Don't worry about that. <laughs> um, but you turned 60, didn't you? I, I'm looking you're, at 63. You're older I'm man. looking at 63 in wow. April. And, yeah. And the Beatles no, 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 when no, I'm no, 64. No. Yeah. But you're always like, you know, you're always eternally 14. And I mean that in a nice way. Thanks. Um, it says here when you were in college, you lived in a tree. Now that's not right, is it? Yeah. Well, you know, it was in the early 70s. There was a lot of Where'd strange go stuff going on. Well, like my T-shirt in Avatar, I went to Stanford. Stanford. Well, there you go. Yeah. And and uh, the they may disown me now that you've told them. But in, 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 you said in the 70s, that's when people said, "Oh, fine, we'll live in a tree." Yeah, I mean, everyone was living like in a dome or a teepee or a cave. Right. Or, yeah. You know, no one lived in the dorm. That was no. like, so passe. So uh, a tree. Yeah, we lived in a tree house. We wore little elf costumes. Elf costumes. We did. <laughs> Oh, your folks getting their money's worth there, I aren't know, they? I know, I know. Now, what, what, if, what if your daughter said, oh, mom, when you come up, just park and then walk straight and I'll be yeah. in the elm? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I would realize she was truly my child. Yeah. I, but, wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past her, but actually, um, she goes to school in a pretty cold part of the country. <laughs> I, I think she could only do it a couple of weeks how, a year. How long did you live in a damn tree? Well... <laughs> That's, you say it that way because you've never tried it. <laughs> no, no. We had a hibachi in the tree. Hibachi, we had a yeah. mattress. Uh -huh. We had everything you needed. We lived above the oh, Stanford yeah. Experimental Garden, so periodically we'd go down and liberate a few vegetables, stealing, cook them on the hibachi. Stealing stuff to cook in the hibachi. That's right. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> and they gave me a degree. 
And I, I would guess that there was a, a boyfriend involved in there this. There was. One. Yeah, that's also yeah, that was in an elf yeah, suit. Yeah, sure. Uh, now let's see. I think we have a clip because we're trying to, like you Promote said, trying to Avatar. sell. Yeah, a couple oh, and of you know, tickets. And I do have another movie coming out. Yeah. Tim Allen has directed a wonderful movie called Crazy on the Outside mm -hmm. that comes out on Friday, and it's a wonderful movie. Sort of autobiographical of his it life. It is about a guy who gets out of prison, mm -hmm. and his evil sister, <laughs> me. Mm -hmm. I have not wanted to tell people he's getting out of prison, okay. so I so told let's show everybody. So a clip from that one. Do we have a clip from that in, one? In uh, Paris at the Louvre. Well, well nobody years. wants to see the Avatar thing. <laughs> Let, let's try to help her out with the other movie. I know. Well, yeah, the other thing's done a billion dollars worth of business. <laughs> you, you tell me you're not willing to help Tim Allen? And <laughs> it's the story of his life. I know. And huh? No, sorry. I know. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll have to come back when we can get All the right. clip. But he's he's adorable. You know, the it, last time you were here job. was like 11 years ago or something. That's just stupid, isn't it? I know. Well, yeah. I've been clawing my way no, back ever since. It's me. I'm not well liked. Um, <laughs> All right, so here, uh, the, now's the time Finally to go good. up and put the pizza in the microwave when we show the clip. Okay. Well, it's great to see you it's again. Great to see you too. And congratulations on everything. And maybe you'll come back for the, uh, the Crazy on the Outside movie. Oh, I'd love that. All right, the lovely Sigourney Weaver, ladies and gentlemen.